Prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do, and I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it, but he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things, the past, the future. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well... There's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. We should keep moving. Brutality knows of your escape. Hurry.
Beams can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. Target Leaving hawkers. Try to be inconspicuous. We've just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's whacking tongue. The door is warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of toil, Sometimes Soul Shriven when going you are in a different time. map than where you're supposed to be, the waypoint will go away. So it's like, oh, I bet Natalie is a lot.
Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Night. Two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? seems to think this undercroft is a delightful place. get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here.
that one to fight. The god of self-punishment. My friend. Cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time.
There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. the divines you are safe there is that at least there is sacrificed everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold harbor we will find a way to rescue her together vestige That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel. 
but you must lead me to it. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor mooring! thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chain. Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aphirius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. 
The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. This one needs to... Welcome to Canarty's Roost, friend. The hurricane must have been very disorienting. So many injured, confused. Keep your voice down. Try not to draw attention. Razumdar is here on a mission of some... Uh, delicacy. You are just what the Bandari ordered. Between your hands and Raz's good looks, we are certain to see this through. First, a question. Where did you come from? If you landed five paces north, you'd have squashed a rat, slipped on its guts, and cracked your head on a signal drum. The whole island would have known of your arrival. So where did you come from, truly? A Daedric prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? My, my, you're a focused one, aren't you? It is good to be focused, but it is also good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. 